Hello, this is Ludron 93 here. Um, and today I don't really have, well actually for the first time ever, I've actually got a plan for a vlog. It's really like me being this organised. And it's about Dream Bikes. Um, there was a post on the Motor Vlog Forum a few weeks back about Dream Bikes. And it sort of got me thinking really about what my Dream Bike is now. Because when I was looking for a, uh, for my first big motorcycle, which is this, my Phaser, um, I sort of ended up with exactly what I wanted. Because over the years I've been going to places like Squires and Meetups, and I've always been thinking, looking at phases, oh, I really want one of these, this is really nice. And in a way, it's just odd that I ended up with one, because it was completely by accident that I got this. There was no planning involved, it was, I went in to look at another motorcycle at, uh, at the second hand dealership, and I just saw this and I thought, oh, I'm getting this, because quite frankly, you know, I think it looks great. And I think probably there's only really three bikes that I would really want after this. And they're quite a varied bunch really. I mean two of them are the uh, sort of like the Enduro style bikes. Um, I don't know where I'm going, I'm just riding randomly around now. And one of them is a Sports Tora. Um, one I always liked is a, is a Triumph Tiger 1050, not the new one, the, uh, the older style one. And then, oh, dead end. And I'm not quite, oh, no, it's not quite dead end. Good enough here. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure why. I just, I've always liked it. Uh, now, if you've never, I'm sure everybody's seen a Triumph Tiger 1050. But if you've never seen one before, I'll attach one. Uh, well, I won't attach it. I'll put it on the screen now. Um, that's one of my dream bikes. And another one is Ducati Multistrada. Now, I know it's down to everybody's taste as a bike. And it certainly wasn't to mine at first, because of that weird nose cone it's got on it. But in a way, it sort of built, it sort of grows on you. It's one of those bikes that does that. And I actually really want one as well. The only issue is, and this is how I think really, it's miles per gallon, because I do a lot of miles on this bike. I've been doing over this month, but generally I do a lot of miles on it. And if I didn't have a bike that was good for miles per gallon, right, for fuel economy, it cost me an absolute fortune. So it is one of my primary concerns when buying a bike, really, miles per gallon. And my third bike is uh, Yamaha FGR 1300. It's a bit of an oddball for me, that, really. I mean, I've always liked sport tourers, but with the riding that I do generally, a lot of it is uh, in traffic on a normal month, that is, which makes it quite odd that I'd want a sports tour with a massive fairing but there's something that's really nice about it now I said before I don't really know what attracted me to this motorcycle I sat on it at the NEC and it was pretty nice it was quite comfortable and you know no, no real complaints about it um, but it is, it's one of those bikes I'd really like but really it's completely impractical for what I need it for but I'd still really like it anyway so you know one of those things really so yeah those are my dream bikes I think really the bi dream bike thing I think it would be quite rare to find anybody with the same dream bike as you because I think it's quite a personal choice really as with all motorcycles because if you don't actually want if you don't like a bike then you don't enjoy riding it as much and I think if you don't enjoy riding it then you might as well not have it you might as well be in a car and be boring so, that's yeah, really important. As a complete side point, I've now reached, uh, completely by accident, part of what used to be Meanwood Park Hospital. Now, for those of you that know, I've probably seen on my uh, YouTube channel, I'm a student nurse for learning disabilities. And this, uh, this is where a lot of the people that I care for used to live. This was part of the admin building. In fact, this whole housing site here, it was all part of Meanwood Park Hospital. And, uh, yeah, quite a sad part of our history, really. It was only closed in 1996, as far as I know. Yeah. Well. 
Anyway then, now I've depressed you suitably. Um, I think it's a good time to end the vlog, so uh, thank you for uh, watching. A big thank you to all my new subscribers as well, because I don't know if it's that moped rider recklessly thingy video that I put up, but my subscriber numbers have just shot up over the last week. Very thankful for it, even if it is clogging up my inbox. Um, oh, don't want to be there, I want to be this way. Um, yeah, so thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for watching, I hope you're enjoying my videos. Uh, and I shall see you later.